This is that we, I was recently performing in Wendover, Nevada. I can tell by your stunned silence, you don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> there really is a city, it's called Wendover. Yes, it's in Nevada. How did you miss it? And it takes a, an entertainer with a lot of courage to end up in Wendover. I like to perform in places that nobody in their right fucking mind would go to. And I love Wendover. And the reason you haven't heard of it is because it's a shithole. No, you know a place is a shithole when the people who live there have nicknamed the place. So you say, great to be in Wendover, and they go, no, bend over. <laughs> it's truly in one of my top three places to kill yourself. <laughs> if you're thinking of suicide, you may want to hop about six planes to get there tomorrow. <laughs> and what you will see is uh, seven casinos, trailer parks as far the, as, as the eye can see. No foliage! No foliage anywhere! And you will take a good look around and realize that there's nothing to distract you from your mission. <laughs> You'll hop right to it. Or it may work to your advantage. You'll take a look around and go, wow, I thought my life was shitty. <laughs> Wendover is located right, and I mean right smack dab on the border of Utah. Now, why? Would they build seven casinos on the border of Utah? Hmm? <laughs> Who lives there? Mormons and people in the witness protection program. <laughs> so they built it so that Mormons could sneak in to gamble. And I saw them as night was falling, coming over the hills in their covered wagons. If you're looking for a newspaper that you can read every day and feel absolutely great when you finish it, it's the Wendover Times. It has no news. None. I don't even know why they call it a newspaper. It just should be called paper. Or El Papel, if you will. They, they had a, a picture of me on the, on the front page. I guess to warn the good people of Wendover that a Jew had arrived in town. <laughs> and, and so there might be sarcasm in the area. <laughs> they said about my comedy that he is known for his comedy style, which often includes mental breakdowns. That's, that's certainly a breast clipping you want to send home to mom. Who were they trying to attract to the theater. The clinically insane? Someone who's been locked up for years because they have 16 personalities? They get a copy of The Wind Over Times. Look who's coming to town! Lewis Black, I love, he's a piece of shit! I've never liked that son of a bitch! Hey, everybody calm down. I think it's time for lunch. That argument could go on for weeks. So, if at any point during my act, I pull out a kazoo and shove it up my ass and begin playing the Star Spangled Banner, you have nothing to worry about. It's all just a part of my act. 